speed 30 years ago. <laughs> and I became a Toyota dealer, and the other end of the spectrum is here. <laughs> so you can judge what 30 years has done to me. I don't know if it's been good, bad, or indifferent, but that's the time. <laughs> You'll also see some uh, old commercials that we did. One of them when we launched Toyota. You'll see me looking very scared in an airplane. We got this bright idea that I should tell the community I was jumping into something new. So I thought, well, it won't be anything to go up an airplane, act like I get out and jump out, and somebody else will double for me, it'll be all better. So we took off, we got up there, and we were at 3,000 feet, and the guy says to me, if you fall out, rip on this thing and you'll be okay. So I thought that was okay, and we got up, he flipped the door, and he says, you gotta get out in the wing. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, what am I doing here? It took five takes, and you'll see one of the takes there in the pictures. My eyes were as big as saucers for most of them. I think you see a very dejected looking John sitting there waiting for one of the takes in the picture that's over there. <laughs> Long story short, we made that work. The shoot opened and it said John Lancaster Toyota, and you'll see another picture where I'm standing in the new logo of Toyota and you see a Toyota Supra and I'm trying to do my James Bond impression, straightening my tie, taking my parachute off to drive off. And with that, we launched Toyota in the Madison market. The years have been very good to us. Uh, Madison is a wonderful place to live. It's also a great place to be in business. Uh, when we look at the current economic times, I think we should all be very thankful that we are where we are and, and that we have the employment base that we do and certainly the customers that have great jobs that can support us in, in our endeavors that we have here in Madison. So we've been very fortunate to be in this community and, and I think all of us that live here recognize that. A little history to what we have here. When I came to Madison originally as a Chevrolet dealer, we were in Sun Prairie and this was a cornfield and I had, a month, I had one year to move to, to, from Sun Prairie to somewhere near Madison. This was then the town of Burke. Uh, this was called Hilldale Center, it had gone bankrupt, and I looked at it and said, you know what, that ought to work, it's cheap. Because <laughs> I couldn't afford anything more, and everybody thought he was a genius later because of where I went. It had nothing to do with anything, but it was $10,000 an acre for land, which is much cheaper than anything else. So I bought 15 acres of land, and we actually ex entered and exited on Lancaster Drive, which is out here, and many of you remember, we came directly in on Highway 151. As time went on, American Family decided to buy 880 acres on the other side of the road, which was called the Legler Farm. At that time, all the roads changed, which I thought this is a good deal, until they informed me that Lancaster Drive no longer was gonna go onto Highway 51. And I said, wait a minute, time out. How am I gonna get to my business? Well, the interchange ended up near Capitol Ford, and we kind of had a cow path that came around. And at that time, uh, MATC owned the land over here, so I went to MATC, and they said, you know, we had to build some roads here and develop this together. And they said, we are in the development business. If you want to do that, maybe you ought to buy the land. So with a partner, David Walsh, we bought this, and actually, next to the city of Madison, brought the Madison Metropolitan Sewer here, built High Crossing Boulevard, later, the the bridge across 151 was built and the half diamond interchange was created. And by default, I became something of a developer, which I'm not sure whether that was good or bad. And during those years, of course, we've sold land off to other people. The Stoffigers are here who have to own a hotel right on the corner that, that bought land from us. So thank you very much, Ann. Uh, we, but the area has really developed and it shows how this area has progressed over the years. This was once the, the Chevrolet store. We had a Nissan store that sat across this way. As Joe alluded to, we had to demolish all of those to create the area here that we now have for this facility. And during the period of time, it was a little bit tricky staying in business uh, while we tried to build buildings. And certainly for our customers, uh, we're very thankful that you uh, were willing to put up with some of our mess and a little bit of the inconvenience as we went through it. So that's a little bit of the history. We're here now, and I sure don't plan on building any more buildings for any time soon. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge a few people. First, my wife, because she's the person who actually ends up having, I say I built the building, that's totally incorrect. My wife builds the buildings, I write the checks. So Sarah. <laughs> introduce her to uh
primary contractors, that being, I'll let you introduce Dan and Chris. Um, Dan Burtler from Supreme Structures, who is, I mean, we've been joined at the hip for a <laughs> long. long time, a long time. And um, Chris Homburg, I believe, is here as well, and his dad is here. Yes. Yes. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on yeah. <laughs> And we're missing Tom McCoy to, tonight, which I feel very badly about. The um, Is that right? Is North Carolina? Yeah. And he's, I, I mean, I feel like the three of us are the most, three musketeers. So. Anyway, it was a fun project, and we're all glad it's been. <laughs> Did you want to introduce any of your um, I am not sure. I hate putting it put on the spot here. Um, 